Blender Cookie. I wanted to make this quick video to show you how quick an RTX 2060 Super is compared to what my old GPU, which is a GTX 1060. I actually have two GTX 1060s. I sold one and I still have one in the computer. Now the GTX 1060 that's in the computer, it's going to be replaced with another 2060 Super. All right, but let me go ahead and show you how um, quick it is compared to a 1060. All right, I got this little scene right here. Let me go ahead and just play it in the viewport so you can see what it looks like. It's just a, a molecular script particle simulation. It's just a room, you know, with what is it, uh, 50,000 particles being created and then basically filled up this room. Now I'm just going to select one of these frames. I'm Let me see. And let's stop right there. All right. Now over here are my rendering options. I have my 2060 Super and my GTX 1060. I also have optics which only works with the RTX uh, cards. If it works with another card I will be surprised as far as I know it only works with the RTX cards. Alright first I'm gonna have this on CUDA and I'm gonna turn off the RTX card so that it's only rendering with the 1060. Move this out of the way and then as you can see over here I got 200 got the sampling set to 200. Gonna render a frame and we'll see how long that takes. I'm gonna do all this in real time and I'm not gonna speed up the video or anything. So hopefully whenever it's rendering I won't run out of things to talk about. You know, I've been doing a whole lot of testing of this uh, RTX card and comparing it to the 1060 because the 1060 is what I have. It's what I can compare it to. And once I get my other RTX card, I'm going to put out a video that's more comprehensive. And I'm going to go through a whole bunch of benchmarks and compare it to, of course, the 1060. And since I was using two GTX 1060s before, and I will eventually be using two RTX 2060 Supers, I'm going to compare it both with one card, one of each, basically one GTX 1060 versus one RTX 2060 and so on and so forth, you know, two against two and so on and so forth. And I'm going to also um, test it with the optics. Now I have had some weird things go on with that optics because it's still experimental it's not refined yet and it's not perfect so I get mixed results with it alright looks like we're getting pretty close looks like it's gonna take about a minute and maybe two minutes all together on the GTX 1060 the GTX 1060 is just an okay video card in my opinion but it's what I had for two years essentially. Alright, took two minutes. Alright, let's go ahead and change this to slot three and then we'll t turn off the 1060 and then turn on the 2060 and again this is still rendering in CUDA. Go ahead and click render and we'll see how much quicker the 2060 is rendering in CUDA. Now this should be quite a bit faster but it's not going to be staggering amount quicker. But as you can see it's already doing quite a bit faster. And I did, uh, I think this is, yeah, I was doing some some uh, power measuring of my system because I got a power meter that connects to my uh, 
um, to the power cord on the computer and I idle my computer is pulling about just under 80 watts and with a GTX the GTX 1060 is pulling about 90 watts and the RTX 2060 is pulling about 150 watts All right, took 54 seconds, or 55 seconds if you round up. And welcome. What was what was it on the? Uh, yeah, see, it was more than twice as fast. That's not bad at all. Went from two minutes down to 54 or 55 seconds. So let's try it this way. I'm going to bring this over, turn off CUDA, and just render with the RTX card, but in optics mode. Now, in optics, it's using the, my understanding, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, the RTX, it stands for Ray Tracing ex, uh, Acceleration, if I believe. And, um... It's actually using the RTX cores to do a portion of it or to accelerate the process. I'm not 100% sure how it works. But anyway, let's see how well this works. Once again, click render. And if, all, if everything goes right, it should be even quicker than 55 seconds. And so far it looks like it's going to be approximately 30 seconds is what I'm guessing and that's just crazy fast in my opinion now granted it's still got a little bit of noise up here because I'm, I don't have any kind of denoising turned on and 200 samples is a lot so I took 35 seconds cut another 19 seconds off of it so I mean you're talking almost four times faster in RTX with a 2060 than it is with uh, a 1060 running CUDA now just for fun let's go ahead and do this turn CUDA on and then we'll run the 2060 and the 1060 both running CUDA Now, I'm guessing this is going to be somewhere equivalent to 35 seconds, probably about 40 seconds. Because uh, this is running CUDA, which is a little bit less efficient than the, than the optics version. But now whenever I get my second 2060, I'll be able to run both of them in optics, which should turn this down to about 20 seconds for a frame like this. So, see, it's already up to uh, 35. See, that that's the crazy part. With, uh, with it just running in CUDA and not the optics, even with an additional 1060, it's still slower than one RTX running optics. See, this right here with the RTX cards is the future, in my opinion. It's still experimental, but, and it's still got some glitches. But so far, color me surprised and color me happy. But anyway, I thought this would be interesting for anyone that's looking into upgrading uh, to the RTX cars, cards if they are a creator. Because the RTX cards are great, and in my opinion, the RTX 2060 Super is the best bang for the buck when we consider the uh, memory size as well because the RTX 2060 is 6 gigabytes just like the 1060 but the RTX 2060 Super is 8 gigabytes an additional 2 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes for rendering is probably enough for uh, ninety percent of people who do stuff like this. But anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Later, people.
Thank you for watching this video. Here are four other videos you might like. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it, or leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.